Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 24 field guide pages here in the Great Hall in Hogwarts Legacy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So to start us off, we're gonna go over to the Great Hall and we're actually gonna take the Great Hall Flu Flame. And once taking that Flu Flame, you'll spawn in looking towards the podium. We're gonna go toward the middle of the tables here and right in between these two middle tables, we'll use Revelio and you'll be able to get your first page right here. Now, after grabbing this page, we're gonna run right towards this podium in the front and once we get to the podium, we can then use Revelio once again and get our second page right here. Now, after grabbing these two pages, we're going to turn right and go outside. Now, to get outside, we need to go through these two large double doors over here. So we'll come right over here, go through these double doors. And once we're actually able to get through these doors, we'll be outside in the courtyard. So there we go. They opened up. And once you get outside, you'll see a page that's flying around this statue. We can lock onto this page and use Accio and get our next page right here. Now, after having that page, we're going to walk up to the statue that's directly in front of us, and we're going to use Revelio, and we're going to have another page in front of this statue. So I believe it's on the other side. We'll get it to spawn right here, and there you go. There's your fourth page. Now, after grabbing the page of the statue, we're going to turn around and go back inside the Great Hall, and once entering the door, we're going to take an immediate left and head up some stairs. So we'll go up these stairs here. We're then going to take a right and head up some more stairs. And when we get to the top, we'll take a left, head up this small staircase, and over here we'll have another dragon statue. We can use Confringo on. And after doing that, you'll get your next page. Now, after grabbing this page, we're gonna turn around and go right back down the stairs. So we'll head back down the stairs to where we first came up. When we get down here, we'll take a left. And then we're gonna go back through the double doors right at the front of the Great Hall. And as soon as we go through these double doors, we're gonna have another set of double doors. We'll go through these and then in this little room on the right you guys will see the house points counter we're going to use revelio in front of these and we'll get our next field guide page right here now after grabbing this page we're going to turn around and head down the stairs behind us so as we come this way we'll be towards the grand staircase we're going to go down this spiral staircase to our left here so as we go down this staircase once we get to the very bottom we're going to look on the left side here there's going to be a picture of some fruit now this is actually a door that we can go through, but if you use Revelio in front of this door, you're gonna be able to get a field guide page right here. Now I already have this one, so it's not gonna pop up on the screen, but just use Revelio in front of this door and you'll get another one. Now to get our next page, we're actually gonna go inside this door. If you haven't been in here yet, it'll say tickle the pair. All you have to do is press the button it asks you to, and then the door will open and you can go inside. Once going inside, our next page is gonna be found in between some tables. So we'll go over here in between two on each side. And once you do so though, you'll see some stacked plates. We can use Revelio and your field guide page will pop up right here next to the stack plates. Now, after grabbing this page, you guys will see in the southeast corner in front of us, we have a bunch of barrels that are stacked on top of each other. We're going to go over here to these barrels. And once you get to the barrels, go ahead and use Revelio and you'll get another field guide page right here. Now, to get our next page, we're going to head back over to the Great Hall and come back and take the Great Hall Flu Flame. And once taking that Flu Flame, we're then going to turn around and go through three sets of double doors. So this being our first set. We'll run straight and go through a second set of double doors. And then once again, we'll have our third set of double doors. Now, after going through these doors, you can, all you have to do is look up and you'll have a page that's flying around this room. We can lock onto it, use Accio, and this is where you'll get your next page. Now, after grabbing the floating page, we're going to go down the staircase on the right hand side. And as we go down one little flight of stairs here, you guys will see a statue. We're going to use Levioso on this statue. And once doing so, you'll be able to get your next field guide page. Now, after using Levioso on the statue, we're going to turn around and continue to head down the stairs. And at the very bottom here on the left, you'll have this giant knight emblem thing. We're going to use Revelio in front of this, and we'll get another page right here. Now, after grabbing this page, we're going to turn around and go through the giant double doors behind us, which is then going to lead us into the courtyard. Now, once entering the courtyard, we're going to go right, go through this archway, and then we're going to take another right. And tucked away in this back right corner is going to be another statue that we can use Levioso on and be able to get our next page. Now to get our next couple pages, we're gonna head down to the boathouse. So take the Great Hall flag and come down here and we'll take the boathouse flu flame. And after taking this flu flame, we're gonna go to the back side. So we'll take a left. And then when we get back here, we'll take another left. And all the way at the end, we're gonna have a boat that's in the water. We're gonna use Revelio in front of this boat. And once doing so, you'll get your next field guide page. Now once you grab the page in front of the boat, we're gonna turn around and go inside the boathouse. And in the very back, we're gonna find another dragon statue. We can lock onto that, use Confringo and we'll be able to get our next page. Now to get our next page, we're gonna head back over to the Great Hall flag and we're gonna come over here and take the Viaduct Courtyard Flu Flame. Now, after taking this Flu Flame, we're gonna head down a really small flight of stairs here and on the right, you guys will see a tree with purple fruit on it. We're gonna go just past this tree 
And under this overhang here, and over here is a door that's actually an elevator that's going to take us down to the Underground Harbor. So go ahead and travel to the Underground Harbor. Now, after you make it to the Underground Harbor, we can turn around and we're actually going to go to the right side here. And over here in between these boats on these little mini docks, you can use Revelio and you're going to have a page right here. Now, I already have this page and it's actually part of the main quest, Professor Weasley's assignment. So you will need to get this at some point, but it'll be right here on these docks. Now our next page is gonna be a moth frame. So we're gonna go back over to the Great Hall and back to the Viaduct Courtyard Flu Flame. And after taking this Flu Flame, we're gonna head back towards the elevator. So as we pass the tree with the purple fruit, you guys will see the elevator here. We're gonna go past this and we're gonna take a right up this little staircase. And right at the top of these stairs, you're gonna see another moth frame. So go ahead and use Lumos to activate the moth. And once doing so, we'll go left up the stairs and we'll take a right into the courtyard and it's actually gonna be located in the back right. So we'll go diagonal from where we're standing. And as we go back here, we'll go back under the overhang and in this back corner, we'll have a statue and you guys will see the moth is on the wall right next to this statue. So we'll grab the moth right here and we'll head back diagonal from where we came. And then we'll take a left, go back down the stairs and all we have to do, as most of you guys know by now, is throw the moth into the frame and we'll once again get another field guide page. Now to get your next page, we're going to head over to the Grand Staircase Flag and we're going to come down here and take the Lower Grand Staircase Flu Flame. Now after taking this Flu Flame, you'll spawn in looking at some stairs. We're going to head down these stairs and take a right. And we're actually just going to follow this path for a second here. So we'll go all the way down the hallway, up some more stairs. We'll take a left, we'll go through a little archway, and once doing so, we're gonna take a right. And you guys will see we have a door in front of us. Now, we don't wanna go up this set of stairs, we wanna go in this door right here, which is a bathroom. And as soon as you enter, go ahead and use Revelio, and you'll get your next page in front of the sink. Now, after you grab this page, we're gonna turn around and head back outside the door, and we're gonna take a left and head up these stairs. Now, we're gonna go all the way to the back, and then we're gonna take a left which will have this long hallway. We're gonna end up taking the door that's on our left that almost just looks like a, a prison fence. Now this will have a lock on it, so you'll need to unlock that. If you've already been in here, it'll just open up. And we can come down this long hallway and just follow the hallway until you get to a door. We're gonna go through that door, and if you take a left, you guys will see a bunch of ghosts having a dance party. They literally just were before I started recording. They're all gone now. But once coming in, you'll see this giant tapestry in the back. We're gonna walk up to this. Use Revelio, and you'll get your next page right here. Now, after you grab this page, all we're going to do is turn around and look up, is there's going to be a page that's flying around in this room. So if you guys look up, it'll be somewhere in here. There it is. You can lock onto it, use Accio, and this is where you'll be able to get your next page. Now, after you grab the page that's flying around, we're going to go to the opposite side of the room from the tapestry. So we grabbed a field guide page right here. We're going to turn around and go to the opposite side. And over here in front of these tables, we're just going to use Revelio and we'll be able to get another page. Now, after you've grabbed this page, we are done in this room. So we're gonna go back over here to the exit and we'll go back through the door that we came through and we'll follow the passageway all the way back to the entrance to the gate. And once the gate opens up, we're then gonna go left. Now we're gonna take our first door on the left here. So you guys will see we have another gate. We're gonna unlock this. It's got a level one unlock. Now, once this gate opens up, we can go inside. And in the back right over here, you guys will see another dragon statue. We can lock on, use Confringo, and we'll get our next page right here. Now, after we've grabbed this one, we're gonna turn around and go back outside the gate. We're gonna take a left once again, and you guys will see we have another door with a lock. This one is a level two lock, so we'll unlock this. And once this door opens up, we'll go inside. You'll see it's an abandoned classroom. We're gonna head to the desk directly in front of us, use Revelio and you'll get your next page right here. Now, after grabbing this page, we're on to our final page, which is the moth frame. We're gonna turn around and head back outside the door here, and we're gonna go all the way to the end of this hallway. Now, once we get to the very back, we're gonna take a right. We're gonna head down this hallway, down some stairs, and then we're gonna take a left. And then we're gonna take another left, and your moth frame is gonna be right here before you go through the door. So go ahead and use Lumos on the moth frame to activate it, and then we're gonna head back to where we just came from. So we'll go back around the corner, up the stairs, all the way to the back, take a left. And then right before you get to this giant painting on the wall on the right, you guys will see our moth just hanging out here on the wall. So we can use Lumos to grab him, turn around and head back this direction, take a right, back down the stairs, take a left, and then another left, back to our moth frame, go ahead and throw this guy inside. And once doing so, you will get your final field guide page. But this is how to get all 24 field guide pages here in the Great Hall in Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.